Hi guys! Today we'll deal with one hot Japanese car. There was recently presented Nissan's GTR update, and I didn't particularly like the design changes. They are not global and not the most successful, in my opinion. Look at the 2016 facelift version. The vertical lines of the front look are much more harmonious and well kept by each other. It's really cool. Unfortunately, there is no such continuation in the new one. After sitting and thinking, I decided to sketch my own version of the GTA update. It also will not imply big changes, but I will try to refresh it. And I'll immediately note that I don't interpret my version as better than the original, it's just my vision, just another option. Work on this sketch will be divided into three videos. So, let's start. The first part is a line art sketch. As usual, I start with a brick. I add wheels and put the car in perspective. Today, it will be a three-quarter view from the front, with an emphasis on the side. And yes, about the wheels, considering the perspective production, it must be remembered that the rear wheel will be slightly narrower than the front. So, to start, we need to constructively build a blank our base. Always keep in mind the guidelines to the horizon. They help us not to make blunders. Now I only outlined the axles of the wheels, a few lines of the front part, a line of glass and a roof. That's enough for me. I keep the rest in my head. When and where necessary I add them along the way. At the first stage the main thing is not to get into details. Only the main form factors are of interest to us. We sketch out the main forms, we make, so to speak, the foundation of our sketch, our car. After that, we keep the entire design with respect to our already finished foundation. As practice shows, if the base is made confidently at the beginning, then later the changes already concern only the details. Don't forget that the style should be uniform. You can't do the front with rounded shapes and the back is straight and sharp. This is an imbalance. It won't work. Therefore, it is important to maintain the design in one style and form. It looks very advantageous when one line passes into another or cuts the shape into certain parts. By the way, in both versions of the GTR, such moments can be clearly seen on the front bumper. But before the restyled one, it looks more organized and unified. On it, I will put the emphasis. Nissan has good proportions, and I will try to keep them. Maybe move a little, but not much. Along the way, we make the cutting lines in order to understand how to shape of the body bands. This is a very important component, because it shows how you feel the form. Subsequently, it will also be necessary to outline the interior, in order to give the cockpit an internal volume. I already like how the car stands, dynamically and confidently. Further, it will be necessary to work with the front part, in particular with the side air intake. I always work on a sketch in parallel. I don't stick only to any one element, but I touch everything at once. However, when the process is nearing the end, sometimes it happens that you can sit for a long time over some part in the constant search for that very ideal one. In this case, I will spend quite a lot of time on the rear wing, but overall I am happy with the result. And yes, you will probably ask later why there is such a huge spoiler on the stock GTR, but it's just that no one forbids me to install it, so the look will be more aggressive. And don't worry about the wheels, we will work on them closer to the final, when we'll paint. As a result, it turns out a dirty, but work sketch. As a rule, clean line art looks cool, but is not a profitable investment as it takes a lot of time. At work, designers, artists draw quickly to find an idea, 
they have a lot of quick drafts. This is fine. And I work the same way. I don't see the point in cleaning up the sketch if the painting process then goes on. Only when I have a clear picture of the design in my head and I want the complete final result, do I make a final cut. At this stage, that's all I wanted to say. Write in the comments what you think about it. Ask questions if something is clear or interesting. Enjoy watching the video. Thank you for your attention and bye!